So knowing when it's time to sell. So the other thing that really you need to understand and learn and use is some kind of tools that can help you to know when it's time to sell or know when it's time to buy. So I've got two really great tools uh, that I use and put together indicators. And one's called a cycle reversal indicator. And the other one is what I put together is called my extreme range band indicator. So these two, these tools, they measure reversals and they signal reversals and they measure extreme when prices get too extreme and stretch from, from a moving average mean, okay? So when markets get very stretched and overbought and then they have a reversal, these can give you some really good points where you could sell options or buy options. All right, so for example, here's your, this is my reversal indicator below. You can see this is a two study uh, uh, indicator. And so the upper study, we'll go through a couple examples here and just kind of wanted to, to frame this to show you how this can help your probabilities of your winning trade. So here's Apple, but you can see how it cycles. You know, the markets will cycle, right? So we want to try to get within that rhythm or cycle. So this helps you to catch that rhythm. All right, so the, the uh, lower study is the reversal indicator. So we, we can use this, this was, is on a weekly or daily or whatever time frame we want to use. So you can see Apple had a fantastic move up, but then look here, this is a weekly, then it gets a, it kind of stalls out. All right, so we had a reversal right there. So this is coming from a very overbought, 90% all overbought. And then we get this indicator, it starts across here, get that purple arrow and we have a, uh, what I call a cycle reversal. And then there's a mean reversion. It comes down. You can see it comes back into that 20 period moving average right there, that yellow dash line. All right, so it cycles, you know, here it cycles up, cycles down. Now here's another one, another cycle reversal on the weekly. Okay, so it got it very extremely stretched here and starts moving back. Now here's a cycle reversal from the downside. So it comes down here, gets pretty oversold and then cycles back up. So this is what helps to really capture these turning points. So when you think about it, this also can be a great place to, if you're using options, you can do a lot of different option strategies based off these reversals, either up or down. So we get a reversal here, we could sell out of money, you know, bear call credit spreads. And we know statistically this indicator tends to, you know, pretty capture the top of the market. So it could just churn sideways, but if you sold out of the money options or option spreads, you're still going to do really well. So here it turns over, sell out of the money option, bear call credit spreads or something. Here, so bull put credit spreads down here or buy options. So it gives you a lot of uh, flexibility for your trades to know, okay, then what's the best thing to do at that point, you know, from a, a cycle of the market. So you have to be able to try to, to work the cycles.